Sorry to interrupt. Hi. Um, Eddie Pels with AP, congratulations. I, we heard you talking a little bit, but what about just the uh, physical toll that it took for you to get from, I think, what it was a C-section to holding your baby on the track tonight? Hello? Okay, there we go. So yeah, it was definitely hard. I remember um, when I was having my son, I was actually trying to have him naturally, but it wasn't happening and you know, I was really scared when I had to do the C-section and I was out for 10 weeks and then unable to lift weights on my back. So I was doing a lot of hand weights and stuff like that. So it was definitely a long journey physically being, um, coming back from having my, my son and you know, mentally it was even harder because, you know, you're 30, you're having a baby, females are running fast, you're worried about if you're going to come back. But, you know, for me, I really just, you know, really worked hard. Question? To Larry? You gotta press that lovely little red button every time you talk. They're, they're trying to mess with you. Um, so I really enjoyed your semifinal. Uh, you seemed to like to tell a message in the semis. You just kind of blasted, but you looked very, very relaxed. Tell us how you felt in the semi and tell us how you felt in the final. Um, honestly, I was tired in both because I actually didn't get any sleep last night, which was so weird for me. Um, I spent, I actually, got some sleep about 4 a.m. this morning and you know I was just trying to make sure I ran the rounds as best as I could and get to the finals you know I for me you know I'm, I'm, I'm an experienced athlete and I just did what I needed to do tonight hi there uh, Jonathan Gold here from let's run.com uh, question for Shelly Ann Two Olympic titles and now four world titles. Do you view yourself as the greatest 100-meter runner in history? Um, honestly, I'm one of those athletes that don't get too caught up in uh, you know, all of those stuff. I'm more working hard and trying to run fast and winning titles. And you know, I've heard it earlier, and it, I feel good, I guess, about you know, being or I guess getting the... <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just feel good, and for me, I'm just excited that I was able to come out here and put on a show. Question to both. You guys had a two hours between semi and the final. How that helped? And also, other question to Shilliam. How many wig did you bring? <laughs> well, um, I was actually planning on changing my hair. Okay. Yes, I was actually planning on changing my hair each race, but <laughs> I'm not running the 200, so I guess you won't get to see the next color. <laughs> but I'm running the relay, so hopefully I'll bring one out for the relays. Um, for me, and the two hours were, it was okay, because by the time I actually walked around, it was time to get back into the warm-up, which, you know, is very hard, because you wanted that little time to, to regroup, but, you know, it's of athletics there are different things that happen different year at the championship so you just have to adjust and you know just get ready to, to roll oh, in French or English English I will try so but ours was for me okay but you know after the semifinal I think some things in my knee so I was a, a little bit worried and I saw my physio and do an amazing job. Then I come and I try to, to catch her. <laughs> and then my niece say, uh oh, you cannot. <laughs> but I'm just happy, yeah. I think I heard you say that when you found out you were pregnant that there were some people who said, well, you know, it's been nice. Um, How did you respond to that? Um, I just didn't listen, you know, um, I'm one of those persons I don't read too much, you know, like today, before I ran um, the semifinals, I stayed off my phone, you know, my friends were messaging me, I just didn't respond till I actually am finished, so when I heard persons who, you know, said I should call it, you know, in my career, 
everybody's entitled to their opinion. And I knew how I felt, and I knew I wasn't ready to go, and I knew I had something left to, 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 to do. And for me, I just kept focus on the goal and the dream, and I never lost focus of the target. What goes through, through your mind on before the start of the race, when you are standing behind the uh, starting blocks? Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans oh. la tête avant, <laughs> <laughs> avant le départ? Et surtout maintenant, uh, aujourd'hui. I'm just focused, you know, I think about my mom, my country, and all African people who support me. Then I'm just praying, God, give me power to finish my race. So I'm just focused, yeah. Yeah, um, for me, I was glad that I actually saw the men 100 and all that lights and that darkness. I was like, wow, you know, so I was trying not to get flustered. My coach was actually said to me, do not get too flustered when the lights come on. Just stay focused, deep breathe and focus on, you know, just executing. My question is for Shelly and Fraser Price. Uh, love the wig, Shelly. Uh, <laughs> 1071, um, just shy of your personal best and the national record. Um, how close do you think you are in breaking that record? Um, you know, I think I'm just like at the door and it will open, but you know, I believe that it's definitely gonna come. And tonight after doing what I did and you know, going back home to put in some work for 2020. I'm hoping that somewhere along that line it will definitely come, but tonight I'm just really grateful to be able to dip below 10.8 and actually go close to my personal best. So I'm excited about that.